in this video i'm going to show you how to find the common items and also the missing items between two lists using a single formula here are two lists of names the list one consists of 27 names and the list two consists of 14 names let's say that we wanted to find the common names and the missing names in both the lists before we proceed i would like to convert both this list to table to do that i can click anywhere within one of the lists and in the home tab i have an option format as table and let me choose this and i say my table as headers say okay similarly in the list to to select a cell within that list and then let me choose this again my table as headers say okay so i go to this list and instead of table 6 in table name i'm going to call it list 1 and similarly when i click on the list 2 table let me call this as list 2 great so now we have two different lists of names and we'd like to find the common and the missing names in both the lists i'm going to get to the solution using formulas and this formula is available only in office 365 so you need to have that subscription to use this method to begin with i'm going to build this formula step by step so the first part of my formula is going to be using the function x match so in the cell f3 i'm going to type in the formula equal to x match of the lookup value so the goal is to find out the common items between list 1 and list 2 so my lookup value i'm going to choose the list 1 so it says list 1 list 1 the lookup array is going to be our list 2 and then we are looking for exact match so let me just close this formula and when we press enter that you get some numbers and some n bar a's the number indicates that that item in list 1 is present in list 2 and the n bar a indicates that it's not present so when you see andy in list 1 is present in list 2 but brad in list 1 is not present in list 2 similarly brett which has a number in the cell f5 is present in list 2 so basically if the answer is a number that item is present in both the list and if it's not a number it's not present moving one step ahead we can use that condition and if you go to the formula all we need to type now is the condition is number and close the brackets and if you press enter now now you get trues and false so if a item from list 1 is present it shows true and if it's not present it shows false okay now we've got true and false all we need to do is to filter the list 1 items with all the trues so we need to again go to the cell f3 and type in the formula equal to filter of the array the array is going to be our list 1 comma and condition is already mentioned here with the is number and when we close the formula here we've got the list of common items between list 1 and list 2 we can try this so let's say i add another item here zephyr it doesn't show up here because it's not present in list 2 and if i type in here again it automatically populates here note that we are typing the formula only in cell f3 and due to the spill function in office 365 we get the complete list so that we've got the common items and now how do we get the missing items it's really simple all we need to do is to copy the same formula in cell h3 and now instead of is number we are looking for is na because those are the names which are not present in that list and when i press enter now i will get the list of all the items from list 1 which are not present in list 2 to find the list 2 items not in list 1 we can again proceed by building the formula so let's do it again just for practice 
So go to cell J3, type in the formula. First, we are going to use X match. The lookup value is going to be our list 2, and the lookup array is going to be list 1, comma, exact match. So we are looking for all the items from list 2 which are not in list 1, which is indicated by n bar a. To get that into true or false, we need to check if the x match is returning an is any. So here in the formula, I'm going to type in is any of the x match function, and this shows false if the list 2 item is present in list 1, and true if the list 2 item is not present in list 1. Great, now we've got trues and falses. So all we need to do is to filter the list to based on this true and false data. So again, we go to the function and in the beginning, type in the formula filter of the array is our list to array. And we've got the condition already. So come to the end and close the formula. And then we've got all the items in list two, which are not in list one. So let's say that I'm going to delete Zephyr right now from the list 2. So delete table row. You see that Zephyr is moved away from common items and it's come into list 1 item not in list 2. Similarly, let's say that I uh, delete Fran. Notice Fran is present in the common item here. So I'm just going to delete table rows goes away from the common items, but it's come in the list two items, not in list one. Finding common and missing items can be really helpful for reconciling data. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.